Good afternoon, oil traders. It is 3.17 p.m. here on October 10th. It's Tuesday, and it's been a bullish day. We've basically been climbing pretty much for the entire day. Um, we've reached as high as 51.05, um, which I'll tell you about in a second, um, where I almost bought a second time, um, more short, um, but I've missed it. So um, coming into the open, uh, we were kind of, I was waiting for it to, um, to kind of, basically I was hoping to get in where we opened. Um, we opened at about 50 and a half and we were kind of fluctuating um, within about a 10 cent range and I was looking at um, 50, 55 at a price to get out of my long as well as into a short position. Um, you'll remember that I sold uh, three shorts on Friday, so I was looking to repurchase at least one. And we also had that long that we purchased on Friday that was now up over 4%, so I was looking on uh, to take a profit on that. Understanding, of course, that we could go higher, which is exactly what we did. That being said, I did sell the, the long position for a 4.24% profit. That's uh, a little north of $600 um, from the original purchase price of a crude um, 49.45 price. So quite, uh, quite nice actually. Um, you can see that here on my tradingjournal.ca account on the uh, results page. So it was a four day hold almost exactly. And uh, yeah, it was uh, kind of a smaller position, but um, non nice nonetheless. Of course, my unrealized positions have gone negative further um, as we've climbed up, but uh, I'm certainly familiar with that feeling. Um, so I also, bought short, which of course is now underwater as we climbed higher. Um, and uh, basically I was waiting for us to crack through 51 before I went to buy again. And when we did and settled in for about 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes, I entered a short purchase price at uh, for the HOD ETF at 51.05, which we actually did hit following my order, but my order was never executed, <laughs> go figure. Um, we retreated a little bit below 51 and then I readjusted my order at 5103 and we only got as high as 5102, of course. <laughs> um, so for the time being, I've missed it. Maybe tomorrow I get it. We'll see. Um, but of course, I would prefer that we drop um, so that not only can I exit more shorts, but also rebuy some long, which I am now completely out of. Um, which makes me a little bit uncomfortable, but as you guys know, I've been in this situation many times before. So it, we'll see how it goes. But uh, for the time being, it certainly looks bullish, um, and I'm a bear, so that spells trouble. <laughs> what do you guys think? Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, etc., etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of Markets Open here on the East Coast at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then. Oh, one more thing. Uh, news is delayed by one day. Um, it was a holiday here, so I suspect it was a holiday elsewhere as well. And uh, as a result, um, EIA news will come on Thursday instead of Wednesday. I'm not sure about API, but I suspect that's going to come tomorrow instead of today. Until then, cheers.